In this video, I'm going to talk about sequences and how we can change them. We have sequences throughout the database, such as our sales order numbers, and by default, we have this S00 number. So we have a number that starts at one and it goes up depending on um, the sales orders that we create. We have these sequences throughout the database, such as for other things like our receipts and our deliveries. So if we go into our receipts, we'll see another sequence here. And these can all be changed as well as our purchase orders. We see our sequence here. If we're in developer mode, we can go into sequences by searching sequences on our dashboard. And we'll go to settings, technical sequences and identifiers slash sequences. And now we can see all the sequences that are created throughout our system. And this is where we can go to edit them. So what I'm going to do is go into our sales orders and I'm going to look at our sequence. We can see that we have a prefix of S. So if we wanted to change our prefix to something else, if you have a unique uh, sequence that you want to use or something that you're carrying over from a previous system, you can change the prefix or suffix here. So if I wanted to do sale maybe, and then we also have the sequence size. This is how many characters are going to be in your sequence. This is not including our prefix. We have steps. So this is how many, uh, how much the sequence is going to e increase each time. So if we're at one, it's going to go one, two, three. If we do two, it's going to go, you know, two, four, six, etc. So we're going to start. And the, the next number here, if you already had 10,000 invoices, um, in your previous system or 10,000 sales orders and you wanted to continue that sequence, then you can edit the next step here. So we can do, we can say that the next step here is going to be 506. So now the next sequence that we're going to create is sale 506. You can also use this legend to customize the prefix and suffix with dates, months, um, time. So any of these can be utilized into your sequence. And you can do this for any sequence throughout your database. So now if I create a new sales order, we'll just add a product and we'll save. And you'll see this is sales order number 506. Once we confirm that, we can create another one and then it will become sales order 507. As you see, sales order 507. And again, you can change those throughout the database depending on what you wanna see in your sequences.